John here guys and today we're talking about the iFlight Chimera 4 inch. This is been out on the market for a little bit but I got it on super sale on one of the deals on the FPV sales alerts groups guys. If you're not in that group this is where you can get deals like this. I believe this was right around 100 bucks with Crossfire. It's meant to be able to do long range but I like that they've increased the KV a little bit so that you should be able to do a little bit of freestyle on here too. This is a 1404 3800 kv now this little thing is built up meant to do freestyle you can tell by the by blades and the lightweight setup this thing has iFlight 20 by 20 stack in there with a capacitor installed and their large success video transmitter for analog this thing goes all the way up to 800 milliwatts guys and that means you're gonna be able to get particularly long range that's why they have this special antenna sticking all the way out the back right there to be able to get clear reception from very far away in addition to that guys they also have the gps mounted nicely on the back this is probably the best gps mounting i've seen on one of these it's way far away from the quad and it has a, like, a nice little iFlight sticker on it too, which is kind of cool. It has your basic Runcam Nano 2 camera. Now, I really, really think that out of all the manufacturers out there, iFlight is doing the best at matching motors and props to a particular size. They, like me, like something that has a little bit of extra juice in there. You want to have enough power to actually get out and have fun. And that's what iFlight has accomplished on this setup. It is a single bottom plate there, so there's no replaceable arms. So keep that in mind. But if you did smack around this thing and crack something, um, you could easily swap it to another frame. I do like that they give you some little motor protection skids right here. So it's a nice little inexpensive ripper. Now what I like is a lot of these long range micro formulas are a little underpowered. But this one I think is not going to be. One of the indications for that you can see is it is a bi-blade prop. Now two blades instead of three keeps your weight a little bit lighter and allows you to spin the prop a little bit faster. But by giving it a really steep pitch right here, I think you're still going to have enough power for some freestyle fun. So let's take it for a quick rip and see how it feels. I gotta say, it's uh, got way more punch than I was expecting for something of this size. Uh, I mean, a lot of times these four inches are like a little underpowered and that's kind of what you expect. But iFlight really has figured out the formula. They're the best in the game, I feel like, at matching motor size to something. You know, a lot of guys will give you a nice mid-range feel but iFlight really likes to fly like I do. They like to give you some punches, right? Man, those ghost branches are a little sketch. Uh, so, I mean, I just love that I still have punch even though this thing can go very long range. Now, if I cruise this thing on this 1050, um, which is probably a little bit heavy for it, like normally four inch, probably 850 is good enough, but on this 1050, I could fly for who knows how long. I would have guessed over 10 minutes if I was cruising. Uh, and this is a cheap, very cheap Tattoo 1050 milliamp battery. Not even the R-Line, just the regular um, that costs about 16 bucks. So as you can see, the tune out of the box is just ultra smooth. I mean, good Lord. If I just leave my fingers off the sticks for a second, I'm not touching it. Look how smooth it tracks. Wow, impressive. Can do power loops, no problem. Whoa. It's been a little while since I freestyled analog, so it's making me a little nervous at how little I can see these ghost branches, but the image uh, is actually not bad. I'm actually on 800 milliwatts right now so i'm blasting power since i'm flying by myself and the image is remarkably clear for analog yes there's still a little bit of breakup but uh it's pretty dang good i mean the capacitor on board is doing its job fairly well i mean there's a little bit of breakup here and there but 
Not a tremendous amount. And like, I'm sitting here talking this entire time. Can you even hear it on the microphone? I'm guessing not because I can barely hear it and it's not even that far away. I mean, this thing is quiet. The bi-blade prop when you're cruising, it's like, it sounds like a tiny whoop. It's so quiet. Like I'm gonna come close to myself and see how much you can hear it. So this thing is really not bad. Yeah, it's not the prettiest looking quad ever, but it does have some rather nice blue TPU prints. Uh, for everything that you get with this buzzer, GPS, long range antenna setup, 800 milliwatt VTX, this Chimera 4 is really representing quite a bit of value for you guys. And if you just want a cheap park bricker to go fly places where you're not going to have to worry about the noise or the weight. So are you long ranging right now? Are you flying long range? Well, the most important thing you have to consider if you are going to go start long ranging is how good of a shape you're in. Because if you do crash quite a long ways away, you could be having to do an awful long walk of shame so you got to make sure that your cardio is up for the task because this chimera four inch is going to be able to walk a lot farther than you can thanks guys